Hi, I'm Mr. Patrick Carolyn, and I am a senior at Widener University, and I'm a secondary education history major at Widener. Um, I'm completing my student teaching here at Toby Farms in Mrs. McLucky's seventh grade geography classes, and some of the students, reporters here at Toby Farms, had some questions for me about my experience so far at Toby Farms. Hi, my name is Bray Thomas. I'm, I'm in the seventh grade, and today we have Mr. Carolyn here with us. How old are you, Mr. Carolyn? I am 22 years old. What is your current role at Toby Farms School? So currently, I'm a student teacher with Mrs. McLucky's uh, seventh grade geography classes. What school do you currently attend, or what is your major? Currently, I'm a senior at Widener University, and I'm a secondary education history major. Why did you want to become a teacher? So um, both my parents are actually teachers and I've also had uh, teachers throughout my education experience both in grade school and high school that inspired me uh, to be teachers. Some, even though I'm a history major, I've had history teachers that have inspired me but also different subjects and different grade levels so I've had a lot of good uh, role models who have wanted me to follow the same path that they did. Why did you choose to come and work at Toby Farms? Um, so, as a matter of fact, um, Widener just kind of placed me at Toby Farms. We don't really get to choose where we get to do student teaching at, but luckily I was placed here and I've had a great time and experience here so far. So. Yeah, I like being here. It's cool. Thank you. I like being here too. Yeah, in homeroom we have intervention period. So there's, I think intervention period is set up to kind of make up for the last couple of years of being online and stuff. So there's homeroom and then 40 minutes of intervention. They work on math and reading. I really like enjoy when you teach us with the, the do not and the notebooks and stuff. And thank you for that. Hi, my name is Shania Robinson. I'm an eighth grade journalist and I'm here with Mr. Curley. When you graduated, what type of school would you be interested to work in? Um, so I could really see myself teaching in any kind of school. Um, so far I've really had a great experience here at Toby Farms and in the district so I could see myself at a school just like this if not uh, Toby Farms specifically because I've had a really positive experience here so I'm very open to teaching wherever the journey takes me. What qualities do you think teachers need to order to be successful? So I think teachers need to be good leaders, they need to have good time management, and they need to be able to inspire their students and try to bring the best out of them. Because every student's different, every student has different goals and learning capabilities, and it's important to cater to those students' abilities and try to bring the best out of them every day. Is teaching in a classroom anything like what they are teaching at your school? Why and why not? So right now I'm a senior and I've had four years of education classes and different types of teaching classes, but I would say the best experience so far that I've had along the journey has been this year and the last couple months at Toby Farms because although I've learned a lot of different strategies and different things kind of out of books and textbooks, um, nothing can compare to just being in the room and being with the students. And I think so far that has prepared me the best for my future uh, in my teaching career. Have you ever teach in a different school? Uh, so this is my first uh, experience with teaching here at Toby Farm. So this is my first school, I guess you could say. Hi, my name is London Sparks, and I'm a sixth grade reporter for Toby Farms. What do you wish you would have learned in school that would make you a better teacher in an actual classroom? So the past couple of months, something that I've definitely learned here at, at Toby Farms is that when you see 60 to 70 to 80 uh, different students a day, is that every single student has a different need, a different learning uh, capability. They're having different kinds of days. So you might have some kids are having a good day, some kids are having a bad day. And I think something that I've learned is that you need to be able to cater to different students on, different, on each day. So you need to be able to teach to a variety of different students. There might be a lot of different elements going on during a day or a class, and you need to be prepared to adjust accordingly. Nice. What is one thing you will incorporate in your classroom that will help your students be successful in your classroom? 
Uh, I think one thing that I've picked up from the other seventh grade teachers is that we really try to inspire the students and try to instill upon them to take responsibility for things. So students have Chromebooks, they might have papers they need to keep track of, they might have a hall pass that they need to keep with them throughout the day. We're trying to teach them to be responsible for things like that because l later down the road, either in high school or in the future, they're going to need to be responsible for different things in their life. So we're trying to set them up not just as students but as people moving forward. Who was your favorite teacher when you were a student? So I had a teacher when I was in high school. He was a history teacher, and he's the person who inspired me to be a history teacher. And I remember him always being kind to all the students, always, like I said earlier, every student is different, and I could tell he would adjust accordingly for different students. So I really admired the way that my favorite teacher kind of reached out to every student in a different way, and it inspired me to follow that path. What qualities from that teacher do you try to use in your classroom? So now that I've finally learned all the names, learned all the students over the last couple months here at Toby, I try to build a different relationship or a different connection with each student. And I know it's not going to all happen at once, but that's what I've been working on and that's what I hope to keep doing moving forward. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Carolyn, for being with us here at Toby Farms and we hope to see you again. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.